Mother, you like to follow. Follow, <laughs> not other stuff. I don't do that. <laughs> Not on camera anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but if you return, what's up, y'all? Like, how y'all doing? So, short little story. Y'all saw my little natural hair video before. But let's fast forward. Today, I've been having that itch to, to, to straighten my hair. And I'm like, no, don't do it. How about you get a sew in? And I'm like, mm, that, that looks like too much work. So, you know what? I called my friend Bree. Hi, Bree. Hello, how are she, you? She's the owner of Rain Vanity Hair Salon. And you know what I said? I said, I need a, I need a wig because I have hair schizophrenia and I can't be doing no sew-ins because that shit gonna be too itchy and I'm gonna wanna take it off after three days and I'm gonna want my two buns. So, <laughs> Bree is gonna be here today and she's just gonna give us some wigology, weaveology. She gonna let us know the do's and don'ts. 101. Real human hair, pony <laughs> hair, $15 wig versus the $500 wigs. Let's get on into it. Yes. Hey, Breaker. Hello, What's how up? are you? How Hello. are you? <laughs> so, what do we have today? Today, we, today? we are getting a wig. Like, I, I have straight backs. Okay, as you okay, guys okay, see, okay. She, she braided me. She braided yeah, her up. Hair. We braided her up for protective reasons. And so, <laughs> when getting a wig, what is the best way to style your hair under the wig to protect your hair? Um, I say my number one best way is to do um, straight backs is definitely a must, a must, a must for protective hairstyles. Also, you can put it back in like a, a nice little ponytail, tuck it under, put a weave cap, which we're going to put on stage today. And that's the best way is to definitely protect your hair underneath the wigs. And also, also, also always grease your scalp. We need the hair to grow. So that's number one. So, we yeah. don't want no itchy scalp. No itchy wig. scalp, no flaking, no itchy. Want your hair to grow, edges to grow, everything like that. Oh, we need edges. Like, yes. Mm, yeah, I like my edges. Definitely. So, we need those. So, Bri, can you give me, like, maybe the basic, basics difference between your synthetic $15 wig and your human hair $500 360 lace <laughs> wig? <laughs> Okay, so the difference between our synthetic hair is that the synthetic hair ranges between like twenty to fifty dollars. Um, some of it is like a mixed blend; it could be human or it could be synthetic blend, which means you can get both of them in one. But you don't want to really like put any heat on it because you can press it really like on really low heat, like maybe about two hundred, and get a little curl out of it. But other than that, you don't want to put any heat on the synthetic hair. No, you don't want to do that because you don't want to melt the hair or burn the hair, and then you'll have a choppy look. You don't want that. So, <laughs> so the best way is, um, I say human hair is the best thing to do. You can curl it, you can press it, you can bump it, you can cut it, you can do anything you would like to do. You can also color it, as long as it's 100% Brazilian and it's also good to color, so. So it has to be Brazilian? Yes, it can be Brazilian, but or it could be human hair, it depends. But as long as it's not processed, you want to make sure it's unprocessed hair, that's okay. number one. Well, let's get into it today. So we have a human, we have human hair Yes, today. we have human hair, yes. We always have our human hair because this hair basically um, is going to be a blunt cut unit and a bang unit. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really easy to put on, um, to throw it on every day. Um, as long as you have your caps, you have your nude caps, and you have your black caps and brown. So okay. we're going to use the black caps today. So did this come from a girl named Ipanema? And, um... Um, <laughs> well, no, actually this here is store board. Um, okay. It's just like a little bit of out right here, but oh. um, it's but definitely a, a must for the women today. They like out right here because it's very smooth. We want this for our quick weave looks and it's really good. Too. YouTube University, I keep hearing outre. <laughs> outre. <That's laughs> well, I mean, they use a lot of outre, but I mean, I prefer the Brazilian here because it's mm -hmm. unprocessed and you also can color it. So okay, okay. that's a good thing. Well, let's, let's, let's start. Okay, so let's board. start it. We have our braids ready for yes. install today. I'm just going to place a black cap on her. And the black cap is just to protect the hair underneath the wig. So. You always want to use a cap because it secures your braids and it also secures your wig so it keeps it nice and tight. So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to slide the wig on her. Let's see. Now, what is your take on like, like the wig glue versus like it got to be... So, old. hold this for me in the front right here. So the wig glue, it's pretty much like what we have here, mm -hmm. kind of tight, yeah. So the wig glue is what we have here, mm -hmm. and the wig glue is just like, you know, like a quick weave method. Mm -hmm. We can also do the sew-in method, which the sew-in method, you know, is a little more secure, lasts mm -hmm. a little bit longer, but the wig method, I mean, the glue quick weave method usually lasts about 
a month to three months you can mm -hmm. use. Um, the Selman ones last for like five months to a year, depending on, I mean, the maintenance and how much you take care of it. Okay. So that's the thing with that one. Now, if you really want to hold on to your wig, how often do you say, how often should you wash it? Um, I would recommend to wash it like every two weeks, depending on what type of style you're going for and what type of um, sleekness you're going for and what type of, basically the style. So um, if you're going for that everyday style, you might want to do a straighter look. If you're going for more of like a fun look, you could do more of a curly look um, and get a single from there. Okay. Yeah. So what do you want to do on me today? So today, we're just going to use this baby and we're going to give you bangs oh. and a blunt cut. <laughs> I so, had, girl, I haven't had bangs in like 11 years, <laughs> so this should be interesting. Just right? give you a little edge, you know, a little mm -hmm. spunk. That's yeah, all. I haven't. Last time I had bangs, it was. Uh, you want to use my 2000, 2009. Really? Yes. 2009. Yeah, 2009. So I mean, you need a little edge then, Paige. Yeah. We gotta switch you up a little bit. Yes, so, but <laughs> now, how much do you usually charge when you make a wig? Um, usually these ones, they run you about $125. Um, we do have closure wigs, which run you about $135. And then we have our custom sewing wigs, which run you about $250 to $550, depending on the look and the style. That's starting. Okay. So if you want like customized wigs, it goes up a little bit more. But um, right. just this wig, we're just going to I got start. a scenario. I have a scenario. <laughs> so, so I don't have scenario? A, my budget is, you know, infinite. I want a 360 mm -hmm. wig. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 30 inches, the color red, I'm going for Cardi B. Oh, so you B. want you want to be Cardi B and <laughs> on a red be carpet. I want to be Cardi B on a red carpet. Okay. How much is that going to cost? So, I mean, we, like I said, again, um, depending on if it's a closure or a frontal style. A frontal. A frontal? A frontal 360. Oh, wow. Frontals run you about $350 starting. They can run you up to, that's for a sew-in, mm -hmm. a basic sew-in. But if you want to go, um, you know, just like a custom wig, starts at mm -hmm. $550, and then we go up. Yep. So, ladies, if <laughs> you have a nice little hefty budget for hair, hit Bri up, because she's going to have you looking like Cardi B out here. <laughs> but also, um, human hair is always the best hair to purchase, always the best hair to buy. And we're just going to give her like a classic razor cut and a butt for like cut by. So, How long have you been doing hair? Well, I've been doing hair for 13 years. Um, I'm actually an editorial stylist as well. Um, a lot of people probably with me. Um, yes, I remember you did Milano's fashion show. Yeah, I, I do did. all the Milano. Uh, also, just recently did Lavello. Um, I work with her a lot, too. Mm -hmm. um, also I, do New York Fashion Week, Philly yes, Fashion I Week. I say, I just seen you come off of New York Fashion Week. Homegirl. It's a she, lot of work. She busy. Like, she a lot of work. She riding around <laughs> and she getting it. So, like, catch her when you can. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but um, stay tuned for Philly Fashion Week this year is going to be all right, you guys, it's the big reveal. I haven't seen my hair straight and short. No, I have never had it short, but all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this, yes. I'm your, they tell me I was yerpable, like yerp, yerp. It's a, it's a silly thing, but look at it. Oh, I'm about to do some damage tonight, yes. <laughs> Girl, so tell, tell the people what you did. Tell the people what you did. Okay, so we basically gave her a simple cut, just a nice blunt bob with a little bit of a razory bang. We want her to give her a little edge, a little spunk, and a little class. So we gave her all these things in one, and class. Now yes, she's she gave me ready. class, because Lord knows that she's something. ready for her close up. <laughs> ready for my close up. <laughs> all right, you guys. Catch me on Instagram, because this wig is going to be on for the rest of the week. <laughs> I just want to thank Bree. Thank you for coming here. And you welcome. You with welcome. Hey, for sure. Yes. For sure. Come see Definitely me. Definitely check Bree out. Rain Vanity. Yes, Go Rain ahead. Vanity. Spit the, spit the um, Rain Vanity Hair Studio is my salon. And my name on Instagram is Bree the Stylist. B-R-I-T-H-E-S and the Stylist. Everybody knows how to spell stylist, though. So. Come yes. see me. Go see Brie. Like, look, look, look. <laughs> look at your girl. Look at yes. your girl. Yes. Shake it for him. Shake it for him. Yeah. Oh, girl, this has been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, yes. Look at it. Look at it. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching the Mill Files this week. Remember, subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media. Stay milky, y'all. Woo. Stay dilfy. Ha, 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 ha.
see y'all later. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> My hair ain't been this dark ever.